Hey everybody, this is Pastor Nat from Back to the Bible, and you're joining Win the Day. And today we're going to talk about working for God's glory. According to Gallup, roughly 15% of the workforce is aggressively disengaged at work. Okay, what does that mean? It means that roughly 15% of the people in your office, in your company, or even in your retirement villa, they are working against the goals of the organization. Now, this percentage I share that 15% even can include Christian employees. But you and I know it shouldn't. But we have to ask the question, why should we do our best at work? Uh, why should we treat your employer with respect? Uh, why should you help and not harm your organization? Paul has the answer for us in Colossians chapter 3, beginning in verse 22. Slaves, obey your earthly masters in everything you do. Try to please them all the time, and not just when they are watching you. Serve them sincerely because of your reverent fear of the Lord. Work willingly at whatever you do, as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will give you an inheritance as your reward, and that the master you are serving is Christ. But if you do what is wrong, you will be paid back for the wrong you have done, for God has no favorites. Okay, I'm just going to address the elephant in the room. That's slavery. In 2021, we are still talking about it. But should we? Well, that is a topic for a different day. But suffice it to say, Jesus didn't come as a social justice warrior. His goal was not to set the slaves free, but to make dead people live. So rather than aim to abolish the social injustice of slavery, Paul says, slaves, obey your masters. Do everything as if you're doing it for the Lord. Why? Because you are doing it for the Lord. Why should they do this? Because all Christians are slaves of Christ. He saved us on purpose and for a purpose. That purpose is to glorify Him through our loving service. When we obey God, there are heavenly and sometimes earthly rewards. When we disobey God, there are natural consequences. But those consequences and those rewards shouldn't be our motivation for doing our best for God in the workplace. Our motivation is to love our King. That's Jesus. So thankfully, today we aren't participating in slavery. So the way that we can live this out is in the workplace, in our daily service, and even in everything we do. So this is my challenge for you today. Live each moment in joyful service to our King. It's an honor to serve King Jesus in all areas of our lives. So regardless, if your boss is a jerk or your job drives you nuts, you can do it for God's glory. But before you do that, uh, put in the comments below where this is a struggle for you. We'd like to encourage you and help you to win the day all for God's glory. You see, when we do our best for the King friend, you know it, we will win the day.